morning I was watching a video by Ulla England and uh, because he was here yesterday wandering around early in the morning and one of the guitar companies that he came across is called Cream Guitars. So I had to come check it out myself. Now I'm here with Luis from Cream Guitars. Tell us about what makes these guitars different. Everything, everything. Uh, the idea of Prim was to... We cannot find the future of the guitar in the past. So that's why uh, when I started to design our guitars, we had to redesign the complete recycle of how to make a guitar from the finishes, this, the, the electronics, the, uh, the shapes, and the technology that you can implement without losing that analog sound that everybody loves. So uh, come with me and, and let's have a tour in, in, in our booth. Well, right now, this is one of the uh, most special pieces that we have in NAMM. Uh, uh, this model is the Voltage, but as you can see, it changed colors and it's an electromagnetic paint. It's not LED, it's, there are no pixels, there are no light coming from it. It's real, real paint that is moving with the change of electromagnetic fields. Uh, this goes with a battery and you can change it as you want. Right now it's on display, that's why it's changing a lot. But uh, you can press a button and when you, you, you're playing and you press a button and you change color and you start to shred for your audience. And well, now uh, we're in the developing to make this in eight colors uh, with a company that it's uh, here in, in the States. and. Well, you're going to be able to have eight different colors, so it's like, why to have one if you can have it all, you know? So you get tired, you just change color and that's it. So uh, over here we have another model, which is a revolver. I'm going to grab this one. Okay, this is with a shattered mirror painted in Turkish, Turkish, uh, it's kind of blue, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> sorry, uh, and well, this also has the brace plate that goes from the neck to the bridge, the body is half mahogany, half maple, and the binding is with the, the same uh, wood of maple. At the headstock, it's aluminum. This is what it's going to make, is that it's going to vibrate more. We only use locking tuners from Radio uh, Graftec, uh, Graftec knot, Seymour Duncan pickups, CTS knobs, switch craft switch and input jack. So everything is the best of the best. And well, what you can do with this guitar is that uh, the volume is that everything is push pull. So if you start with the, the, the first, it, everything is down, you have this five way switch, you, you know how to deal with this. But with the volume, now these two are a humbucker. They play in series. So now you have more like a less pull. If you do this in the tone, you're going to take the lower coil and the, 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 the neck coil so now you have more like telecaster sound and if you do this then you have a piezo now it's electro acoustic so all this uh, now it's a bit it's going to be available now in all stores in all the world and I'm, I'm we're so proud of this. And it's in all these different finishes that you can see, these are real flowers placed by hand. This is organic. And so these tops are not like laminates or anything like that? They're just... These are more custom, yeah. Uh, it's, it's a little bit higher in the price. Also this like Prisma, 
And how do you how do you get this depth? Well, we need to carve the wood. Then we apply some chameleon painting, and then we apply the resin. So it, it's tons of work, but it just looks amazing on stage, on our YouTube, TikTok videos. It's amazing. And as you can see, all these things just blow minds. Uh, we're the, 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 the worst enemies of singers because now everyone is going to watch only the, the guitar players. Uh, so all of this is laid by hand? In, in this case, yes. Uh, well, in, well, in all cases, the, the tops are, are made by hand. So uh, does that mean that these are custom-made guitars? Yeah, it's custom-made, but uh, it's in cost. It's even lower than any other big company. So why? Because it's fair. Uh, it's not about the money. It's more about that you can get a unique instrument and be inspired with it. Uh, so. It's, it's really crazy that for some guitars, the square inch of paint cost is higher than a Bentley or than a Ferrari. I don't get it. Why a Lamborghini is less expensive on paint than a regular guitar? It's, so it's because it's not true. Uh, these guitars are from a collection. I call it the folklore collection. These guitars uh, are made by hand, by my hand. Uh, it took me some uh, months to develop all these uh, works uh, that represent uh, where I live. I, I, I'm from Mexico, and this is part of the way I live, the way I grew up, uh, so that's uh, that, uh, from the Indian art, the, the Guadalupe, the Tree of Life, the Talavera, the Dia de Muertos, uh, which I think is one of the most photographed uh, guitars in the whole NAM, and Alebrijes, the, the medical creatures that uh, go with you after that. So it, it's not that I'm like a believer, but it's more that I like to, to show who I really am. And you can see it in, in my designs. Uh, I, I didn't want to be afraid of show who I am. Now I noticed these tops are some of the most 3D effect tops that I've ever seen, but yeah. like, like so, everything is laid by hand. And you have what? What's what's the top then? Is it just like ah, a piece of glass or then, what is no, that? Then it's a uh, epoxy resin, and whoa, it was it's it's kind of a headache because every material re the response is totally different uh, because temperatures, because uh, tons of things. And, and and we wanted to do like that. We wanted to get in trouble because the paint is everywhere here at Nam. You can see any color painted like a car. But to have this kind of finish and to have the weight in a six pounds, five pounds, and with the colors as vivid as, as us, we need to develop different types of techniques to do an industrial production line with an ISO certification so every guitar that you grab from us is going to be perfect because uh, we work with the automotive industry so all our lines are uh, with manuals and with certification uh, supervisors between process so you're going to receive a piece of art and a guitar that is going to last forever this is the bolt dash the bolt dash has this uh, this new look of rock and roll 
Uh, and in Voltage we have three models. This is with uh, active pickups, always Simmer Duncan, CTS, Switchcraft, Graftech with our brass plate. This is mahogany. Uh, the colors are stunning. Uh, they just glow in the, in the shows. You can play a concert in a stadium and you don't need lights. Then, we have uh, passive pickups, also Simmer Duncan. This is a 59, which is a, like a PAF, and this is a JV with a lot of uh, a lot of uh, output. So you have the best of the world, both worlds, and you can split coils right here. But finally, we got this model. Below of this pickguard, there is a secret agent. It's a single coil from Seymour Duncan. So it's really an HSH. When you pull the tone control, you activate that, that single coil and you can mix it with the humbuckers. But then if you pull, uh, pull the uh, volume control, now these two are also split coil. So you have three split, three single calls. Uh, so in in in, an, in this world of TikTok, Instagram, uh, we need more music. We need more content. It's, it's, and 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 this gives you a fresh air to inspire you to do new things and. That's why uh, we're so proud to do this. Uh, the, all of these are manufactured in Mexico, and uh, but uh, the company is in Austin, Texas, and we have a warehouse in Laredo, Texas. Uh, our website, so you could check uh, everything about us, screamguitars.com. But please follow us on Instagram, which is scream.guitars. We were so happy that uh, we could know about what you think and follow us and let's keep making music and thank you so much and enjoy this NAMM 23. Well, that's going to wrap things up for me here at NAMM 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I was able to show you guys and I look forward to being back here again next January for NAMM 2024. Now, my next set of videos is going to be at NAB. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to head out to Las Vegas and go to the NAB show. So that'll be my next set. So I hope to see you again soon. If you like these videos, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more from me next time. Hope all is well out there. See you next time.